I am Fred Dotson, and I now present to you the miracle of focus shifting. I am only interested in methods that work universally. Universal means they work for anyone, at any time, for anything. In the last 20 years, I've used this tool extensively with my coaches and also for myself, and it's always worked. Without exception, it has always created improvement. It is best used when you have uh, stuck attention, fixed attention, recurring thoughts, recurring emotions that keep coming up, recurring experiences that keep repeating. If that is so, then your focus is subconsciously or consciously stuck on something, and this method will help you release it. It is very simple. The first step is to focus on the issue you would like to release or dissolve. So instead of ignoring it, you dedicate yourself to it. Instead of denying it, resisting it, covering it up, you focus on it deliberately. So that which is creating automatically, you create consciously. And by focusing it, I mean you either write about it, you write it out, you describe it on paper, or you think it, imagine it, feel it, or you talk about it. You do this for at least a minute, or two minutes, or maybe even five or more, and then the second step is to shift your focus on something else, to start writing about, or thinking about, or talking about something entirely different, until the first thing you focused on recedes into the background, and that which you are focusing on becomes more real, more important, And the next step is to focus back on the issue with fresh eyes, a fresh view. And the next step is to then focus again on something else. And it may be no surprise to you that the next step is to then again focus on the issue. You either repeat what you said, wrote or thought, or you uncover new details about it. You dive into it again. So this method is stunningly simple, but also stunningly effective. What you are doing is you're switching the topic on and off, on and off, on and off, going back and forth, like switching a light on and off. And as you do so, you uncover more and more of the issue New emotions may come up, buried emotions that you haven't felt in a while may come up. But at the same time, you practice shifting your attention to something else or something preferable. So then you shift back and you focus your attention for a few minutes on that other thing. You should focus the same amount of time or longer than the issue, not less. Because the main problem really is that your attention is stuck. 
you can't get your attention off something that it unconsciously keeps coming up again and again and again and you feel compelled to focus on that as you release your consciousness your awareness from the issue in this way it slowly begins receding into the background until suddenly you're not compelled to focus there anymore at all and when your attention recedes from it it stops happening in your life that's the secret of this technique and then you go back to the issue focus on that some more by describing it feeling it thinking it and then back to something else back and forth back and forth back and forth over and over again and as you do this the issue may become a little stronger it may become a little more heavy especially if it's traumatic or if it's an addiction if the stuck attention is an addiction to some substance or some activity and then you focus on something else and that something else may be an external object such as a car or a lamp on your desk or a tree or anything else and you stay with that other object until you've forgotten about the issue until your attention is truly dedicated and interested in that other thing and then once again back to the issue and then again to something else and that something else may be an internal object a memory or a thought or a fantasy so when you focus on something else it can be internal or external but external objects are slightly preferable because external objects bring you into present time you see when you hold an issue that you're stuck on the reason it does not feel empowering is because it's not a present time reality so focusing on present time objects in your surroundings gets you back into the here and now where you do not feel disempowered because being in the here and now in your place of power uh, feels good feels stabilizing so if you want use internal objects but use external objects more often and then you shift back to the issue whatever the issue is a business problem or a broken heart or an addiction or a recurring theme in your life and then back to something else and not necessarily the same thing so if it was a car you focused on before then the next thing might be the lamp on your table or whatever else in time you will notice a sense of relief a sense of release because attention is no longer fixed what fixes attention is actually heavy emotion that is not allowed to come up and resistance and that's all gone so you feel light and free and I strongly recommend you continue with this technique until you do feel free no matter whether it takes a few minutes or with heavier issues a few hours 
What this technique actually does is it condenses time. So it mimics something that happens anyway throughout life where you have this issue and you think about it and then you're busy with something else. A few hours later you think about it, then you get distracted. And then a few days later it comes up again and then you get distracted again. And this technique takes all of that, takes what happens within weeks and months and puts it into minutes and hours. What is left at the end is neither this nor that, but simply pure awareness, pure consciousness that is beyond this or that. And the technique is quite powerful. I've been writing about it, using it, and teaching it in the last 20 years. Not many people actually use it. And I noticed that when I do a private coaching with people, I'll sometimes use the technique and then they'll say to me, wow, this is amazing. I feel so free. Thank you so much. You told me about this technique years ago. Or I read it on your blog so, such a long time ago. Or I read this in one of your books. Um, but they don't take it seriously enough to actually apply it, to actually use it. Or perhaps they don't use it because they know it works. And the power that comes from knowing that it's merely a shift in focus that is required is quite daunting to, to many. So even people who know about this and who know how powerful it is don't often apply it or don't apply it to its very core to where the issue is completely free, resolved, dissolved and released let go of. Of course it's easy to let go of something that you've let go of a dozen times within this exercise. You see, the moment you shift to something else, you let go of the issue of the first thing. I recommend you start using this technique on easier things, recurring thoughts and issues, uh, before you use it on the heavy things, on the traumatic things, or the broken heart, or the substance addiction, or the pornography addiction, or the money addiction, or what it, whatever it is you're attached to. Um, humans have many, many, many attachments, be it the attachment to the internet, can't get their attention off the internet, or the attachment to a certain person, the attachment to coffee, the attachment to meditation. Any attachment is a bondage, is a type of slavery. And when you release the attachment, it does not mean you will not drink coffee anymore, it does not mean you will not have sex anymore, it does not mean you will not surf the internet anymore. What it means is that you're no longer slave to it. You have it instead of it having you. And that is the whole purpose of this technique. If this was helpful to you, please recommend it far and wide. I am Fred Dotson. Thank you very much for attending.